Good morning. It's Wednesday, November 8th, 2023. My name is Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Deceptions Forests, and our scripture is Matthew's Gospel, chapter 15, where our good friend the tax collector writes, Some Pharisees and teachers of religious law now arrived from Jerusalem to see Jesus. They asked him, Why do your disciples disobey our age-old tradition? For they ignore our tradition of ceremonial hand-washing before they eat. Jesus replied, And why do you, by your traditions, violate the direct commandments of God? For instance, God says, Honor your father and mother, and anyone who speaks disrespectfully of father or mother must be put to death. But you say it's all right for people to say to their parents, Sorry, I can't help you, for I have vowed to give to God what I would have given to you. In this way, you say they don't need to honor their parents, and so you cancel the word of God for the sake of your own tradition. You hypocrites! Isaiah was right when he prophesied about you, for he wrote, These people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Their worship is a farce, for they teach man-made ideas as commands from God. If your first thought after reading this exchange between Jesus and his detractors was how Jesus never answered their question, you may have the same problem they did. The Pharisees and scribes were nitpickers, focusing like a laser rocket beam on tiny details rather than the larger picture. But that was not their main problem. Secretly, they were more committed to their agenda than getting at the truth. Jesus had been teaching people how to love and honor God. The critical committee was, quote-unquote, concerned the disciples might have a germ on their hands when eating. To the uninformed listener, or someone who bought into the Pharisees' authority and credentials, it may have sounded like high, holy righteousness. However, Jesus saw through their deceit. They were trying to find enough fault to pick him and his teachings apart. Jesus rebuked them by showing them their hypocrisy. There's a particularly ludicrous form of that deceptive hypocrisy in the culture of the 21st century. It's the nitpicking, so-called spirituality, of those who have never truly knelt at the foot of the cross and experienced the forgiveness of Christ's love. Among the leaders of such are those who came close to the faith, but turned and walked away. Having a glimpse of salvation's glory and cost, they must self-validate their empty decision to reject the Lord of glory by tearing his followers apart. I've seen it too many times to miss this. The most vehement of those who would destroy the kingdom's grace in others are those who would never kneel to the lordship of he who came to forgive and save. Like the Pharisees, they say they serve the cause of good, but their hearts have fingers crossed behind their backs. For you today, if you've recognized yourself in this from either side of being guilty or the target of the guilty, there's only one response, forgiveness. Offer forgiveness freely if you've been attacked. Pray for forgiveness if you've blundered enough to be the attacker. Living a life of eternal truth is to destroy every last bit of hypocrisy that wants to eat your soul alive. Anything less is a deceptive farce. It certainly isn't worship. Eat you on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.